Ciao a tutti, eccoci qua, questo è Alta Voz, Sherwood Web TV, special guest con noi questa sera è Sonia Munir. Hello Sonia. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> yes, and you? Very good, very good. <laughs> how is your experience with Alta Voz tonight? Uh, well, uh, so far it's been very good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's totally crowded, I think there's as many people outside than inside. It's really warm and uh, I'm starting in half an hour and yeah, it's going to be nice. You enjoy it? Yeah. There's yeah, so yeah, many yeah. people tonight. Many, many people. Are you many afraid people. to play in front of a thousand people? Can happen sometimes. I always have a little stress, but it's good. <laughs> I think so, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So you came from Switzerland. I do. So how did you start your career in electronic music? Because well, I know you studied piano when yeah. you was a child, I yes, suppose. Yes, yes, very small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I suppose like classical music maybe? Yes, I was like studying that. classical music, definitely. And uh, well, my parents were listening to lots of music. They're also f musicians themselves. Ah. And my dad plays the accordion, my mom the violin and the flute. Well, whatever. They, they also like they like to uh, to organize party at home, and we always have people and oh, really? singing, playing. And wow, whatever. beautiful! With the piano and with the obviously going out and discovering the the, the, the clubbing and, and all this at an, er, an early age. Then obviously, I, I at some point you go on the other side of the of the mirror, no? Then yeah. I started to buy vinyls and turntables and ah, buy vinyls. When I was small, That's yeah, very yeah. good. Are you still buying vinyls? I still buy vinyl. Yeah. Not CDs or MP3. Yeah, or I mean, I use a couple of CDs obviously because my yeah, there are some uh, productions is not yet out on vinyl, so I I play it on vinyl on CD. Sorry, and uh, that's it. Yeah, only that. No tractor, no. Ah, FX is no, yeah. So vinyl is the really way. good. No, yeah. The turntable, you can touch the music and everything. Yeah, else. for me it's also like a matter of uh, I, li I like the the object, the vinyl with the sleeve and uh, the way that you kind of touch the music in a way, no, directly. Yes. And to me it's more interesting to uh, to be going through my flight case and moving around, that being steady in front of a of a screen. But some people do it very well with tractor. It's, I, I mean. Everybody his own choice. Mine is vinyl. When you play DJ, when you spin records in yeah. front of a um, crowd of people yeah. and in a club, uh, you usually play only one style, so you prefer to combine or mix in different genres, like, uh, for example, house, minimal, tech house. Yeah, I do so. I do so. It's better. Yeah, it's first for the people because I think if you stuck like over half an hour in the same loopy style, could be house or techno or any other. At some point it gets boring, no? Yes. It's also like nice to mix up genre and uh, also tell a story to those people that you have to take them from here, may maybe try to make them travel. So this is what I try to do. Maybe I'm not successful all the time, but sometimes you can get loose, no? Because you go too far. But this is what I try to do. I know you, you, you made an EP on the Route of Five yeah, in yeah. 2010, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, are you, is there any work in progress uh, now? Yeah, or? but actually it's funny because um, so I, I'm, I'm doing many things uh, besides DJing and producing. I, I also work as a sound designer at the TV. I'm a mom. So I don't have much, much time to go to the studios. I've been doing many remixes. Some of them are in the hands of the label owners since uh, over a year, but it's slow, you know. The uh, okay. <laughs> it's coming. One is coming on the. It's an Italian label called Sleep Sleep is, Sleep is Commercial. Should be yeah. there in uh, November or December, I hope. Oh, wow! I did another one for Adil uh, Hiani. Is this guy from uh, Cosmo Records? Ah, I'm okay. I'm doing right now one from a French artist on a label called Coton Tige. I'm finishing it these days. Should be out also next month or so. And another one for adjunct. So only remixes because it's like for me producing takes me much longer and between my daughter, my job, the gigs, at the moment yeah. it's difficult. You just yeah. said about your job that you are also um, a sound uh, designer, designer yeah, for, yeah. for a TV. For a TV, the Swiss TV, yeah. Do you prefer to, to make this kind of job or would you like much more to be in, in a club and spinning records? I like v uh, uh, varsity, it, it has to be uh, uh, many things at the same time. If I do only DJing, then after three or four gigs, I, I have enough. I want something else. Ah. I need to diverse my activities. Yeah. Uh, uh, when we make a record, um, what is your uh, inspiration to, to make a new record, to make music? It's, it's m basically the mood you are uh, at the moment you start the studio, no? You turn everything on. Maybe you have like a, a lucky day and your mood is that way or what happened. 
you know, outside also uh, in the world, no? Some, I don't know, crazy things happening in Syria and all, all, all. Th this is obviously uh, influencing your music. And also, simply you turn on the machines, you start to twiggle some buttons and some things comes out and then from that sound you get inspired for another one, etc., etc. Easy, yeah. That's Sometimes good. you're not inspired. Yeah, so I know, I know very well. I know away. what you mean, exactly. <laughs> um, listen, I know you have been to the Detroit Electronic Music Festival. Yes, yes, what yes. kind of experience is to play over there? Oh, it's great. It's really great. Because what everybody thinks about Detroit that has never been there, everybody thinks about, wow, Detroit is like, you know, techno was born there. And, and you arrived in this city and, and it's... It's very impressive because the city itself is a bit dead, like especially because of the crisis they had in the 30s. Um. All the buildings are empty, uh, broken windows, uh, wood on the windows. and uh, Many dogs uh, around the city. Yes. Sometimes you yes. have to be scared yeah. about them, and, and, right? And, uh, for me, the most scar uh, scary thing was uh, racism. But on the other side, it's, it's definitely a black city. And you, as a white, go there and you feel racism against you. And this is difficult. This is a difficult I city. Didn't know about but that. then they do this festival, all the guys there, and it, it's like three days from midday to midnight on three or four, maybe five different stages. This is five years ago already. And uh, you have people dancing like hip hop or wow. like whatever <laughs> all around. And then at night they do they do these after parties in uh, because uh, it's closing at midnight so the after party starts at midnight till five six in the morning and this is normal party for us in many many different locations and this year we did like this pearl on party at the masonic temple which it was really really amazing with thomas melchior with zip i think sammy was there also dandy jack and me super super nice party yeah that's uh, another very uh, special question, maybe stupid, but <laughs> I'm uh, really curious. Um, how has to be uh, a female DJ? I uh, know, because <laughs> usually lo lots of DJs <laughs> uh, around the world are always, uh, almost always males. Yeah. So is it Most, yeah. too much difficult uh, for a female being a DJ? No. Or no? No, it's like, uh, sorry, it's like when you always... Uh, when you're with your friends, no, you, you can be a fan of uh, r reading books. So you meet with friends and you read books, can be men or women. So it's, it's a DJing at the beginning, obviously it's a passion, it's nearly a teenager passion. No? It's something yes. you do with your, with your friends, with your, your poles. You go buy records together, then you, br you bring it back home and you share. And you, it's, a, it's not a man or a woman thing, it's a, a friend thing, no? So women, men, doesn't count. Doesn't count. Well, I think sometimes the, the girls DJ are not better than the males, but are more uh, involved into DJing and uh, making music and the playing a records we, in we a very beautiful way, I think. Yeah, maybe we, we have to prove a bit more because the, for, for normal people, it's not usual, as you say, to see women. Yeah. They're they more used to see men. So when they see a woman, obviously, they, they look more. And they, if you do a mistake, obviously, they see it more. And if it's a man, it's, you have to justify yourself a bit more. But at, at the end... It's not a big deal. Yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> so we are closing the interview. Yeah. Um, can you tell something about Altavos? Well, I was there, uh, I think it was the first time, four or five years ago, something like this, playing with Andy Jack as Junction SM. And uh, I have to say tonight is much better organized. Like I've seen like a really huge progression. So yeah, the guys are really going very well. Okay. Yeah, uh, happy... Um, yeah, a big luck for Altavos for the future. <laughs> okay. For sure. Yeah, yeah it sounds good. It's going to so be good. Thank you very much Thanks for being you. here. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>